Hello fabulous Aries, welcome to your horoscope for the month of September 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable and active astrological month. Right out of the gate, right around the second of the month, we are going to have this month's full moon. Now this full moon will be taking place in the sign just before yours and speaking in harmony with Uranus. And so when we look at this part of the sky, it speaks to what is happening on levels of soul and psyche and spirit, what is happening behind the scenes, and maybe some of the stuff you're working out in the dream space as well. This is a part of the sky that is connected to closures as well. Now that harmonious connection with Uranus, I just love that energy because it does suggest that there may be closures now, but that you are grateful for them. And that as part of where it feels like things are, in one sense, coming full circle, but also there's a sense that you are creating space by allowing release for the new and the next to enter. Now the new and the next, let me tell you, it is right around the corner. Just to give you a little bit of a heads up, next month is a huge month for you, incredibly powerful. We are going to begin next month with a full moon in your sign, and we are going to end the month with a full moon as well, making it a blue moon month. And it is gonna be next month where what it is now that needs to come to an end is going to allow all kinds of new and wonderful things to flush into your life. I'll be here to talk about it every step of the way. But bringing it back to this month, because it is important, don't let the quietness or even the sleepiness of some of this energy early in the month fool you, because there are big things happening right now. On the 9th of September, Mars, in your sign, your ruling planet will officially go retrograde and will be retrograde right to the middle of November. This is one of the more important cycles to take place for you and is going to define not only this year, but truly much of this decade ahead for you. It is a powerful moment of truth and moment of power that you are about to tap into, especially as Mars is changing signs and changing gears. So be on the lookout for what your own truth about yourself is coming to the surface because you will be spending the coming weeks looking at it more deeply and understanding authentic empowerment more deeply as well. Now, as we navigate later in the month on September 17 is when we are going to have this month's new moon. Now, I love this new moon. It is one that is speaking in supreme harmony with Saturn and Pluto. It is also speaking in harmony with Jupiter as well, although not as precisely as with Saturn and Pluto. There is power and purpose and transformation and new beginnings now where it comes to your day-to-day -day life and it is your daily life that is getting massive blessings, especially at this time. Now, some of you may experience this in the context of what is happening with your work. So whether that's the type of work you're doing or the people who surround you there, how busy you are, how productive you feel, there is a new opportunity on the horizon that allows you to feel like you're able to live more in accordance to the way that you really want, that things are changing in a way that feels like it's ultimately moving you towards greater stability but a transformative moment ultimately is going to shed light on how it is that you could be using your days better, whether that's your work, but also this part of the sky speaks to how well you're taking care of yourself, your health related habits are covered here, and it may be this particular new moon that could feel like a new beginning, a much brighter beginning, where it comes to matters of health as well. This is an overall very fortunate energy. So wherever it is that you are hoping to make changes, whether it's with work, whether it is with your health, the things that you initiate at this time have a special magic to them. The requests that you make of the universe and of others, well, they have the potential to put you on a path towards transformed circumstances and a transformed lived experience as you move through your life. Now, where it comes to matters of love, I love how 
this month is going to set the stage for romance in a way that maybe you haven't been as connected to as of recently. And that is because it is going to be about a week into the month that Venus is going to move into a particularly flirtatious part of your sky. Uh, this has to do with romance and that flush of life that new love and new interactions grant us. For those of you who are open to meeting someone new, Venus moving into this very heart-oriented part of your sky does suggest that there are going to be plenty of opportunities to get your flirt on. <laughs> now, especially around the middle of the month. Some of that may come with some mixed feelings. There might be a romantic surprise that you're not really sure how you feel about or maybe doesn't necessarily feel like it uh, came off the way that it was intended. And yet, as you navigate further, the energy does start to stabilize enough so that you're able to take advantage and to feel like there are options available to you in the context of love. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, this can be a lovely time as well. It is encouraging you to actually enjoy the company of this other person, uh, to understand how it is that love can grow and how this person in some way is part of you learning about yourself in the context of love. Now, how things actually work out with this person, I would watch what is happening right in the middle of the month with that surprise uh, energy of truth being illuminated very quickly uh, seems to show up. And then from there, you'll better understand whether or not there's something real here. But as you navigate further, if you find that this person is still in your life, well, it does suggest that the love continues to grow. And for those of you who are in an established bond, I love this placement for you because it does suggest that the romance and the rekindling of it is growing, especially as we navigate further into the month. Now, this energy can be romantic, yes. It can be fertile as well. So if it is that you uh, are hoping for a boost in fertility, this energy can help you in that, but not necessarily if you don't want it to manifest in that way. There are other ways to use this energy, including feeling a renewed sense of heart connection to this person that you love. What I love about this month for you, it is by far that beautiful new moon energy that is going to be taking place right around the 17th of the month. I mean, we have other big things happening as well. Um, I'm looking at the fact that in the middle of the month, Jupiter is going to go direct. Late in the month, Saturn is going to go direct. All of this suggests that as much as your daily life is being highlighted, especially as we navigate to that new moon, there's also a sense of vision. There's a sense of legacy and a sense of success and the success that matters to you. You are moving forward in life, especially with a week like this, and yet you are also becoming more reflective. You are being asked to check in with yourself to ensure that you like how it is that you are exerting yourself in the world. That's Mars going retrograde. And in many ways, this is an important time frame that's going to take you right to the late part of this year. The wisdom you cultivate now will stay with you for many years to come. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week. Unlimited access to special horoscopes like the Mars retrograde special horoscope, which would be a really good idea for you to watch or rewatch right about now. And so much more, all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.